Oh, darling, stop yelling like that. You will strain your beautiful voice. Besides, there is no one out here, Miles, that can hear it except for me. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> I'm your number one fan. Well, the number one fan of your group, Starstruck. But I suppose you cannot tell with the blindfold on. I will take it from your eyes if you promise to stop yelling and screaming. You promise? Wonderful. Now, let's take this blindfold off. I want to see your beautiful eyes again anyway. There we go. Ah, your eyes are even more dreamier in person. Where are you? <laughs> You're in my recording studio, silly. Yes, my recording studio. But don't worry, I have plenty of your favorite foods, and you have a place to sleep, and a TV here, too. Hey, my name isn't crazy. My name is Amelia, and I know you wanted to create your own music, but why would you want to do that by yourself without your crew? Your bandmates, of course. You can't make music without them, silly. Of course. I heard about your band's breakup. I was devastated when I heard the news. I... I couldn't believe it. I... just... couldn't. But don't worry. I'm gonna help fix it. I'm going to get the band back together. I've only managed to bring you here so far, but I plan to bring on the other members here too. Then you can all make music again, and in my recording studio too. <laughs> I know all of your other band members' location from the tracking devices I all gave you. <laughs> Do you remember those keychains you and your band members received from one of your fan mails? Well, that fan that gave you them was me. I knew all of you and your bandmates' favorite things and brought a keychain that I knew you would use. But unbeknownst to you and your group, you didn't notice the small trackers attached inside each of your keychains, which gave me access to your location 24-7. <laughs> Honey, I told you my name isn't crazy. It's Amelia, and I can't let you go. Like I said, I'm your most biggest fan. Your most devoted fan. I spend my whole life dedicated to your band. I even gave up school so I could spend more time watching your music videos, attending all your concerts and fan meets and greets. I'm honestly surprised you didn't recognize me. But I understand how busy life is with being famous and also, I don't blame you. My parents weren't happy about me quitting school, but they calmed down a little once I started working. I needed to do something to earn money to buy Starstruck's merchandise and concert tickets. I hated working, though, because it meant that I had less time to watch your music videos. Eventually, I saved up enough money to buy all your albums. But it still wasn't enough money to tickets or flights to your concerts or fan meets and greets, so I had to steal my parents' credit cards to pay for it. They were so mad that they kicked me out of their house. I was homeless, but... It was still worth it, because I still had your music to keep me company. Until you disbanded, of course. How did I get my hands on this luxurious recording studio while homeless? <laughs> well, I needed a place to stay when a man came up to me and offered me an audition to this very studio. When I got here, it turns out he was a total pervert and wanted me to exchange favors for him, and he said he would promise me to make me famous. Of course I didn't do any favors for him. Ugh, I just killed that stupid pervert and claimed his studio as my own. Sweetie, please stop struggling. You can't escape those ropes. You can't leave. And not until I bring the other members here for you to record music together again as Starstruck. Hey, maybe I can feature as a guest as one of your songs. That would be so amazing. <laughs> You don't want to make music with the band again and with me? But why? 
You like the other band members and making music together, right? I remember in an interview you said you and the other band members loved and support each other. That you were like family. Don't you want to be reunited with your family? It won't be the same if you did music individually instead of together as a band. How all your vocals blend well together, and the family bond your group shared was the reason why so many were fans of you in the first place. For you guys to quit and have your own individual careers is selfish, and a slap in the face to your fans who supported the band, especially me. I dedicated my whole life to supporting this band, to supporting you. I lost my place in school, my family, my sanity supporting Starstruck, and now you just wanted to split up and be divas with your own sweet individual careers, huh? Well, it isn't fair. I'm not going to let this happen. The band must be together. It has to be. I will promise to reunite with you and you can make music as a band once again. Do you really think you can keep up the level of fame you had with the band? I mean, sure, you may still have some fans supporting you, but do you think you'll be liked as an individual artist or remember like you were in a band? I'm sorry, but I think compared to maybe one of the other members who might have had a successful solo career, you'll still be forever remembered as one of the members of Starstruck. You will get to make your own music just together as a band. You can write whatever songs you want. I'll make sure you all have equal say and that no member is better or more popular than the other. I promise. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go. I spent too much effort supporting the band and getting you here. You can't just leave me. There's so many fans, not just me, that want to see the band together again making music. I told you to stop struggling. Maybe my little friend here can help convince you. This knife here is what I call Princess, and has been my friend ever since I used to kill that stupid pervert. Now, I would hate for her to ruin your beautiful little face, but I also don't want you to try to escape. So, let's make a deal. You promise to stop struggling and promise to make some beautiful music. Then, you can go. And Princess won't cut your pretty face, okay? Do you promise? Yay! I will go make some tea that is really good for your throat for when you sing. I'll be back soon. Don't go anywhere, sweetheart. I'm back, sweetie. I have your tea here and a bit of carrot cake, too. It smells good, and I'm sure it tastes good, too. Don't worry. It's lemon and honey tea with a pinch of peppermint. It's refreshing and good for you. You have to drink it. I made it especially for you. I know you love it. <sighs> Does Princess need to persuade you to drink your tea? Poke, poke. <laughs> Good. Eat the carrot cake first and drink the tea. Let me try a bit first. Mmm. Yummy. This cake is sweet, but maybe I'm a little biased since I made it myself. <laughs> now, say ah. There we go. Do you like it? Yay! I'm so happy you like it. Eat all of it up now. I wouldn't want for it all to go to waste. Good. Now drink the tea. Careful. It's a bit hot. Let me cool it down for you. Here. Does it taste nice? Wonderful. Drink it all up, sweetheart. You will need it after all that yelling you did earlier, and to prepare you for when you start singing. Well done! Now, let's see if the tea did the trick. Sing for me. Please, I want you to sing me your favorite song that you made with the band. Come on, Princess wants you to sing too, or she will poke you. Poke, poke. <laughs>
Oh, come on, don't be shy now. You can do better than that. <sighs> Your voice sounds even sweeter in real life. It sounds so heavenly like an angel. <gasps> oh, goody! The tracker says another member is close by. I gotta go and bring them here. Oh, hey, calm down. I know it's exciting that you're going to be reunited with your other bandmates soon, but you need to be quiet. I don't want you to strain your vocal cords. Just to be safe, I'm going to have you tape your mouth shut. Now shh. I'm sorry. I couldn't resist with you here in front of me. You're even more beautiful up close. All right. I better go now before your fellow band member goes out of reach. Don't go anywhere. I've texted my friends who are also fans of yours to watch you while I'm gone. They should be here any minute now. I'm going to lock the door, but my friends have a spare key. Don't worry. I trust them to keep a secret. Otherwise, they'll have to answer to Princess here. <laughs> Okay, bye-bye, my little singing angel. I'll see you soon. <laughs>